my name is Trevor Reed. Um, I'm currently a junior at Iowa State University, and I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of the Stanley Art Museum, kind of a progressive tour, uh, throwing some cool videos of things that are happening. And for the most part, I'll be taking my videos at the end of the day just because it gets pretty loud on site. So here we go. So the last beam was set last Friday, so it is Monday today. Um, Northwest is doing the erection and Downer Steel is providing the steel. Um, basically done for the most part on the steel, just some miscellaneous portions. Uh, bent plate, uh, the steel decking you can see still isn't on all the way up here. Um, but the last beam was actually put in place over here. Try and walk over here real quick. So if you see that tree up there, the little tree, um, that was actually the last beam that was put into place. And we actually have to take the crane down next week. So the next thing I wanted to talk about here is these concrete walls. Obviously a pretty important aspect of this project, especially if they're covered up like this. Um, not sure if you can see through the plastic, but it is pretty particular in how it's set up. The holes are aligned and spaced evenly across uh, the whole base of the, of the project. Um, here's what a concrete form looks like for one of these walls. So I'll give you a quick run through here of the parking garage that is located beneath the building. Uh, pretty quiet and calm down here right now. Usually it's not. Obviously they got a lot of work to do down here. Um, right now they're working on fireproofing uh, the beams down here. So I believe I mentioned the steel decking before in one of the previous videos. Um, for the most part it's almost finished up here on the third floor. Uh, still got to put decking and roofing on uh, for the roof. Um, something interesting here is the levels. There's various levels uh, of pores that need to be completed. So this is actually the terrace area and it kind of wraps around behind the behind this light wall here. Uh, but you can kind of notice the elevation difference between the terrace and the actual floor. So something I want to talk about here briefly 
is the site size so obviously not a very large site um, which makes a few things more difficult uh, obviously you have a large crane right here uh, that has to be able to move back and forth um, we have another crane positioned right here uh, the staging area is right over here as you move over towards the north end of the building you can see it's still pretty busy uh, there's another crane actually over on this side uh, and this actually means there's there has to be a lot of coordination between Russell and subcontractors letting them know when they can get on site considering there isn't very much room on site This is the main stairwell of the building. Uh, it's almost completed. There's a few more miscellaneous wells, and miscellaneous pieces that need to be added in order for it to be finished. Uh, gives you a pretty cool view though. You can see the first floor, the second floor, and third floor. It's Monday today, the day after the holiday weekend. Hopefully everyone had a good 4th of July. So today I kind of wanted to bring up the pipe hangers, the piping that has been going in the past couple of weeks. Um, there's still quite a few to go. Let's see from this pile right over here. But I just want to give you a quick idea, a quick update, show you what's going on here on the first floor. This here is the scaffold setup that Cedar Masonry will be using for the brick. Uh, you can see it goes over here onto the west end. Um, they will first be laying the CMU block for the mechanical room. Got to make sure that's enclosed first before they start over here on the south end. Um, I actually have a cool video showing them placing these down into the parking garage area. Uh, Took some good coordination between Northwest Steel and Seedorf Mason. So today I thought I would talk about the mechanical room a little bit. CMU wall is almost finished over here on this west end. If you go over here towards the south, they still do have to put up a little bit more CMU. Um, heading back over this way, you can see the catwalk. Extends pretty far down. Um, you can actually see the massive size of this mechanical room. Extends a little bit further than this uh, CMU down there on the end. You can also see all the pipe hangers. I think I mentioned in a previous video that the pipe hangers were not complete. Uh, they're almost complete now, and they just gotta start throwing pipe in. I'm currently standing on the second floor of the building, which will be the art gallery. Um, for the most part, it will be a fairly open space like it is right now. There will be some walls, but this is where all the art will be displayed. Um, this west wall is almost completely sheathed up. There's a little bit more to go down here. South end is sheathed up. And they just started putting in the HVAC system today.
I know this video is getting a little bit long here, but I wanted to give a quick shout out to my team, uh, which consisted of Roy Weeble, Travis Benz, and Aaron Marsh. I learned a ton from them, just like I did last year with Justin. Another great learning experience, just adding on to the, the knowledge I already had. Um, but overall, all three of them represent Russell very well, and I was just excited to be part of their team. Thank you.